at the Royal Albert Hall with a very special musician that I'm supporting tonight, Antonio. Thank you. Fortione. 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 <laughs> nice to know you a little bit better because I think we met um, at the Bedford, didn't we? Yes. A while ago. With Tony Moore. So, there you go. I've never been here before, you know. Have you not? Everything looks grand. It's beautiful. Yeah, I think. You feel grand. It's my shirt. Your so shirt is place. very, very grand. Oh, we've got a couple of our musicians over there waiting. Hello, guys. Hello. And we have to say thank you to Songlines Magazine for organising this. Thank event. you, Songlines. Okay, I think it's going to be a lovely night. It's <laughs> sold out, so we. I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> Our opening concert of our new collaboration with the Royal Albert Hall. What did you think of our concert? Oh, it was fantastic. Really intimate setting in the Elgar room. I thought it was perfect. Just the right atmosphere. The audience loved it, and, and the visuals as well. The visuals were brilliantly. So great band, and yeah, we couldn't ask for a better start to our series at the Albert Hall. So Katie, thank you so much. And I'm so honoured as well to have been nominated Best Artist for Sunrise Awards this year. Absolutely. 2013 is a great honour to be here. Singing a song about a special bear who was the mascot of the Polish two corps. It's a shame I don't know the chorus. I would have loved you to sing it and accompanying you now. Oh, Wojtek, Wojtek, it's G. <laughs> no. Oh, nice. <laughs> Look, Poland, Antonio Fortuny is playing Wojtek. Did you do that as well? Yes, I've got ideas. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's right. Oh, well, thank you so much for this. Pleasure. Day. Good. <laughs> Lovely. Have so a great, great time. Ali Itzia, Ali Itzia, how beautifully you see. I thought it was extraordinary. I mean, there was a great theme to it with Remembrance Day. And for me, it was a, a great story about the Polish contribution to, to British life and the war, particularly. And, and the visuals, I think, make it really, really strong. What's nice about the, the way you write songs is you take little moments and little things and make a song out of those. So they're not long narratives, but they're, they're, they're moments and episodes which are very, very telling. And I pledge allegiance to Poland, and I pledge allegiance to of the beautiful music. Um, nice arrangements and they're completely different from the ones on the record because that was on the cello leg. Um, so yeah, a lot of work's been going on there. And then very, very telling stories. So it was a really nice way to begin begin what I hope is a long series of concerts that we'll do here. So thank you very much for starting it off in such an inspiring way. Three seconds I was looking at the stage and was feeling very intense. And I look at the footage on the screen, thinking, wow, well, this is something different. What's this? And within seconds I was just completely absorbed and, and in your world, in your zone. And the more you went on, the more I was sucked into it. And I know how much the polls did during the war, and your band members stood up and said about the effort that the polls made against the Germans in the Battle of Britain. It was a brilliant evening, and I want to see more. Polish friend? 
I have a Polish friend who would be absolutely fascinated by this, and I have two or three Polish friends. And I hope you, you reach out that audience in this country, clearly. Um, there's a lot of lovely Polish people here right now. What do you think of the Polish people here in Britain? I love them. Brilliant contribution to life. And uh, should be cherished because there are some people in England, let's be honest, I mean frank, I don't know where this is going to, but you know, there are people who think, oh, people coming over here, blah, blah, blah. And they need to be reminded of the contribution that Polish people made in this country. Not the least in the Second World War, but you know, they've been allies for a long time. And they are the most awfully intrusive country in Europe, frankly. And you know, good blessing to all of you. And it was wonderful for the postcard from Poland earlier this year. And it told the story of Kashyyyk and so Well, I think, yeah, your, your Polish trip and your meeting with him, I mean, clearly that is where it all came from. And it's led on and on and on. And I hope, I hope it, you know, it goes to other things. I think the, the idea of performing this music in Poland must have been very, very exciting. That's what we wanted to cover in that. Postcard. That's amazing. And you've, you've also had a lot of interest in Poland. Well, I, 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 in fact, I'm just in the middle of writing the story, which will be in the next issue, about the revival of Polish traditional music, so the village music. And wow. I loved your Chopin song because, you know, there are all these sort of mazurka hints behind it, and there's some free four that dominates central Polish music, and that's really what this, this Polish traditional revival is about. Well, might I just say something to the director of the Polish Song Library in Krakow? Simon, do you think it's a good idea that maybe Katie Carr does a collaboration <laughs> with our Polish music? Well, that, that, that seems to be the, the inevitable next step, I have to say. Great. Well, it's a thumbs up, Mr. Simon, Simon Porter, editor of Songlines magazine in the UK, and a big hello from you to Poland, I think, and to Great Britain. Hello, Poland. Hello, Great Britain. <laughs>